starting off with all of my sizes for my full cover tips and I'm going to be using the McCart Solid Nail Glue Gel. I have been really liking this as of lately and then I'm going to be going in with my Young Nails Protein Bond prior to applying any product to, to my nails. If you watch all of my nail videos or even some of them, you know that this is my favorite primer ever. Going in with my Madame Glam Base Coat. And I'm going to be applying this before I apply any gel product. Before you do any type of gel product, gel polish, gel X, I recommend going in with a base coat. Now, I wasn't aware that it was going to come out <laughs> in, in a glob. It kind of looks cool, but uh, it's fine. It's nothing wrong with it. It still works perfectly fine. I'm going to be taking the full cover tip and applying that from the cuticle and pressing upwards. I really like this product because you can't really go wrong with it and you don't get any air bubbles with it, which I really like. And I'm just going to be cleaning around the cuticle with a wooden stick. These are my nails. I went really short this time, uh, short and square. I like my nails very blunt square. No squoval over here <laughs> because it just flatters my hand the best, but I just find that this length and shape works best with my lifestyle. If I go any longer than this, they just tend to break um, at the gym or when I'm cleaning. So I'm just going to be filing and buffing with my e-file and a nail dust collector because I don't want to be breathing in any of these <laughs> dust particles. Now I've been doing this as of lately, I'm just taking some acetone on a small brush and kind of melting the Gel X nail into my own nail. This helps them last a lot longer, I highly recommend this step. With my polish, I'm taking Madame Glam Soft Pink, this is my favorite pinky, kind of beigey jelly color. This is perfect for a French base or if you just want some classy, simple nails like what I'm doing this time around, then I highly recommend this color i use this color so often on my toes on my nails for french it is just the perfect color if you like a more pinky kind of jelly sheer a polish for your nails then i highly recommend this color and i love this formula as well now i went in with two coats and i'm applying the top coat now i love this top coat it just makes my nails look really glossy and this will also ensure that your nails last a long time this is the finished set what do we think girlies i wanted a really classy set shape length and color i didn't want to do french because i always do french even though i'm obsessed with french and i didn't want to do any nail designs so yeah this is just giving classy bougie and i love it I love my curls but I more so just wear them when I'm on vacation at the beach because there's no point of having a fresh blowout if I'm just gonna be somewhere that's very hot and humid and getting my hair wet in the pool and the ocean I'm going to be using my Revlon blow dry brush this is volume 2 I still have my volume 1 and I still really like it but the reason why I like the volume 2 better is because the brush head is smaller it doesn't get as hot it still gets really really hot don't get me wrong um, it has a high medium and low and I believe the volume 1 does not have all of the settings and then you can also remove the brush head to clean it and volume one does not have that so i definitely prefer this and i actually just bought a case for this brush uh, on timu that way i can travel with it so that's really convenient the only product i use on my hair prior to blow drying i do want to go to cosmoprof and do some shopping for some uh, blow drying creams because my hair is more on the dry side just because it's curly uh it's just i don't know it's just more on the dry side um so if you have any recommendations on blow dry creams that help with hydration and frizz let me know but for the most part i use the color wow pop and lock high gloss finish this is a uv protectant and a heat protectant so i'm going to be applying this uh, before and after my blowout because on the back it says apply apply sparingly to wet hair style as usual or lightly smooth over dry style hair for a glossy shine so I'm just gonna be using this and now these are the parts of my hair that get really frizzy so I'm just gonna take one more pump of my serum and apply that to these pieces Uh, 
Okay, and now that I have the bottom part blow dried, I'm gonna hit it with a cool shot. Basically what that means is you're just gonna blow dry your hair with the cool setting. This is going to seal the cuticle and just let your hair cool down. That way it doesn't frizz up. I used to do this all the time when I worked at the hair salon. I'm pretty much done with my entire head. I'm just gonna do the front part and my fringe area with you because I feel like this part right here is what really makes it look like a bouncy blowout. And then I'll show you the rest of my hair because I did my entire head with just the Revlon blow dry brush, which I absolutely love. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront and down below in the description box. I'm going to do the fringe area. Like I said, I'm gonna blow dry the top, the bottom, and then I'm just going to take it in this type of motion and just really spin it to get a nice bend at the bottom and volume. Into this blowout, oh my God. Yeah, this is just with the blow dry brush. I have not used any other products because there's a lot of people on my TikTok that I posted about. Um, it's pinned on my TikTok uh, about when I went to the hair salon and she couldn't like give me a bouncy blowout with just the blow dryer. Um, but my new recent hairstylist, uh, Glamour by Cantu, she just used the blow dryer and it turned out really, really nice. I also made a TikTok on that. But yeah, this is just the blow dryer ladies. Ah, I'm on my spinny chair. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't fall. But yeah, this is just the blow dryer. I love, love, love the Revlon blow dryer brush. I'm going to take one more pump of the serum and just focus it on my ends. And then I'll just put the leftover on the top of my hair. I'm going to just do the final touches, flat iron my edges, and that'll be all. So yeah, enjoy the rest of my beauty maintenance. I'm going to be doing my brows and lashes with you today. My brows aren't too scruffy because I do tweeze them every so often, but you probably can't tell on camera. There's just a lot of little hairs all over, almost like peach fuzz, just like stuff that I can't really get with a tweezer. But now that I, hold on, let me turn on my little mirror. Now that I'm in front of a magnifying mirror, you can really, really tell. And I have very hairy, I'm just a hairy person overall. Using this kit I got from Amazon, I've been using it for a couple of years. It does last a pretty long time. Like I said, I don't wax my eyebrows really consistently. I really just wax them when they get bad. <laughs> and right now, they are bad, girl. But this is by the brand Nads. I'll leave a link down below along with everything else, of course. But it comes with the wax wand cotton strips and pre-wax cleansing wipes <laughs> i zoomed you in a little bit <laughs> enzo is so silly he's at a fun age right now anyways a big waxing kit like the ones that are at the salons but it's just too much to get out and wait for the wax to melt and da da da, -da. so I'm just not going to use that. Like I said, this is more convenient. I'm gonna take the pre-wax cleansing wipe. This is just going to cleanse the skin and get rid of any oils. And kind of soothe the skin a little bit. I'm just gonna take the precision tip and kind of move it around exactly where you want it. This is not beginner friendly, okay? Do this at your own risk. If you wax off your eyebrow, not my fault, girl. I'm just doing this. I'm just showing you how I do it. I'll press it in the middle and kind of warm it up with your fingers because it's not hot wax. Before you pull, just hold your skin taut and like that. <gasps> nice. Where the hair is. I don't know if my camera is going to focus that much, but and pull. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. You guys. Right zero in a can. Too good. Hold the skin and pull. 
Ooh, oh, they got a lot of hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish both brows and I will be back to show you the finished results. Okay, my eyebrows are done. As you can tell, they are pretty red, but they turned out really good. I have not had a fresh wax in forever. It is so easy to do it with that pen if you're more intermediate and advanced doing your eyebrows. Now I am going to do my lashes. I'm gonna take the Vea's Beauty Newbies a five second kit. This is in the style Lux Bolt 028. I did a more in depth video using and testing out these lashes. A more in depth tutorial and in depth directions and all of that. But for the most part, I'm just gonna do a wispy cat eye set. This is my go to just because I have more almond shape hooded eyes and I find that the wispy cat eye set is the best. So I'm gonna apply the lash bond. I'm gonna go in with a 14. I'm just gonna go in with one 14 on the outer corner. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a 12. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with two 10s. This kit, it's literally so easy to do your own lashes. And you can customize it and play around with it to get exactly what you want. And it doesn't take three hours. Granted, they don't last three or four weeks like lash extensions do. Um, but they last a week for me, an entire week. And none of them fall out. It doesn't look weird in between sets. I used to get my lashes done at the salon all the time. It is just so much easier. Right now the lash map is 14, 12, 10, and I'm gonna go in with an eight. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's better. I think it would have looked way too long if I went in with another 10. That's the difference. I love this lash map. This was fun. I love Beauty Maintenance Week. Um, I do not do this all in one day, don't get it twisted, but I usually have like a beauty maintenance week where I do nails, lashes, pedicure, um, brows, sometimes self-tan, but I'm not going to self-tan this week, um, and all that good stuff. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish the other eye and watch Love Island USA. I am all done with my lashes. I just feel like a whole new woman with my hair, yeah. brows, lashes, and nails done. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it is the end of the night. It's pouring outside. There, I just got a notification. There's a tornado watch. And it's about to be Enzo's bath time and all of that. So the house is a little chaotic right now. But I wanted to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the description box down below because I'll have everything linked from the products mentioned in this video. So yeah. All right. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.